Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. This is Ask Dr. Lori. We are recording live. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what objects my guests are gonna show me. They're here from all over the world. Let's get started. Hold up your objects and see what you've got. All right. Well, let's see what these birds are. What are these birds? Ooh, my birds? Yeah, what's your name, hon? My name is Karen and I'm from Minnesota. Hi, Karen, can you put that right in front of you? Yep. Okay, back up a little bit. Well, look at those birds. I like those. I guess they're flamingos. They look like flamingos. You know, they're kind of very tall and thin legs and they're pink. So they look like flamingos. Look at them. The, the form of the, the shape of the, um, the shape of the frame will tell you a lot. May I see the back? Yep. Yeah, okay. And can we see the front again? Notice how the back has sort of an, an area that almost looks sort of three-dimensional. It comes out like this, right? Against the flat, against the flat frame. It does this from the back. So um, how'd you acquire this, Karen? Um, we got it, I think, at an at a auction about 15 years ago. And it's one of those things that have been sitting in the house and I keep thinking, I should throw this out. And then I think, I don't know what it is. I can't throw it out. So I thought this would be the perfect what? thing to bring. You can't bring yourself to throw it out, really? No. All right. I don't know what it is. <laughs> all right. Well, a couple of different things that it is. First of all, it's an incised carved frame. That frame probably had a family photograph in it at one time. The frame dates to the 1920s. The image inside the frame, actually, of the flamencos dates to the 1950s. So what you have is you have a newer image in an older frame. So those frames are very typical of the 1920s and they're family portraits. They're oval usually, and the whole family sitting around. A studio portrait would have been taken and put into a frame like that. So that's a nice frame and that's where most of the value is because okay. the flamingos in fact are color lithograph, probably worth 25 bucks. The frame is worth about 90. Okay. And I have a question of the day for you. Sushi, is it yummy or is it yucky? Sushi, yummy yucky. or yucky? No, yuck. Yuck, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to see you. So I hope you. you I hope you keep it for the frame. Maybe you put your own family picture in it. But in fact, sometimes the frame has more value than of course the work in the frame. A lot of times people will actually want to divorce these pieces when they're reselling, but what to look for? I want you to look for repeating patterns. And oftentimes those frames that have different designs or, or shapes on the outside, not like frames like these that have the same shape all the way around, just the big, the big square, the big rectangle. When they have different shapes like her piece, oftentimes the value can go up because you will see, of course, more decoration, more labor, and of course, more quality and value to them. So remember what to look for too. My guests are here. Let's see what we've got. We've got so many different things. Diversity galore here, that's for sure. That's for sure. Let's take a look at these, what look to be blue and silver earrings. They might be turquoise set into silver. Hi, what's your name? Hi, it's Diana Cashin. Hi, Diana. Can I see your face, sweetheart? I see your nails. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Nice to see you. So where are you, where are you calling from, Diana? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati. Have we had a special class together, Diana? Uh, I'm asking for that to be for my Christmas present. Oh, so you want classes and such with Dr. Lori or video calls with Dr. Lori for Christmas. We have gift certificates. Video calls are easy to do. Any of them are easy to do, right? Well, I'm putting it out there to everyone. <laughs> so everybody who loves Everybody, 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 you go ahead. Everybody who can hear me right now. <laughs> everybody who loves Diana, this is what she wants, me. <laughs> so, yes. How did you acquire these earrings? Uh, a few months ago, uh, out of the jewelry jar from a Goodwill, oh. and I paid around $12. Okay, now put and... down the earrings and tell me about these jewelry jars. She paid, you went into Goodwill, and there was mm -hmm. a jewelry jar, and it was 12 bucks in the Goodwill shop, right? Yeah, with tax, yeah. Okay, with tax, okay. Well, you gotta pay tax, honey. You gotta pay the government, all right. So yeah. so then you got this and it was $12 and all kinds of stuff is in there, right? Yes, actually it was a smaller jar and I was surprised what all came out of it. Okay. I was you, really surprised. Are these, these marked? Really, yes, 
Okay. Um, they're by an artist, Jerry T. Nelson, and Good. they're Mark Sterling. Good. Hmm? Yeah, let's see it right up to the camera. So you've got the mark on the back. So a studio of a studio jeweler. All right, and then show me the front, please. Looks like they're for pierced ears. They're not clip-ons. They're not screwbacks. They look like they have a post. They yes. are set turquoise. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't try not to move. They're set turquoise, right? So you've got the lines of sterling, right, holding in the set turquoise. And you can tell by the color of the turquoise, the type of mines that the turquoise comes from. It's original turquoise. It is not a composite. It's not, of course, Here's the thing about composites with turquoise. You want to know what to look for. So you've got a piece of turquoise and you don't know whether it's fake or real. Turquoise is not just one color. Turquoise is many colors. It's not just flat teal color or turquoise color. It in fact is many different little shades of sometimes a little bit of black, sometimes a little bit of silver, along with of course the base color of that turquoise or teal color. Very, very pretty. They're very nice. Obviously they have a, a, a Native American style. And I would say yeah. value on them about $150 for the pair. What, Thank you. So you and they, they have uh, sterling silver backs. They have sterling Mark. silver actual backs that connect the yeah. post. That when you have yeah. the post, it connects the post. That's very the nice. I like that I very much for $12. You can't lose with the jewelry jars and the blue boxes from Goodwill and from many other places where they're going to put a whole, you know, group of stuff together. And that's a treasure hunt when you're unboxing it too. It's wonderful. Congratulations you. to you, Diana. Good for you. Hey, my question of the day, sushi, yummy or yucky? Yummy. Just had some yesterday. <laughs> All the I time. Think I think it's yummy too. I like sushi. I like sushi. I like, of course, sashimi too, but I like sushi oh, and yeah. sashimi. Yeah, I really do like it. I think it's great. And you just have to make sure that, of course, you're getting it in a place where you know it's very fresh. So good to see you. You too, Dr. Lori. My pleasure. And don't forget about the Dr. Lori says merchandise. You all asked for it. You wanted tote bags and you wanted mugs and you wanted t-shirts. So of course we gave it to you. It says Dr. Lori says on the front and on the back right there, it says I'm priceless because <laughs> you are, I think you're all priceless. And of course I get compensation when you purchase, you can purchase right here. It's very easy to do. Just go through. And of course you'll be supporting the channel and getting something cool to wear too. Don't forget to share the channel. That will help too. My guests are here, which is is always so much fun. My guests are here. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Dr. Lori, what have we got? What have we got? All right. Let's talk about this decanter. Let's talk about this decanter. Hi, Sarah from Michigan. Hi, hey, Sarah. Do you ever change your hair where it's, usually it's green and blue? Have you changed it like pink? Do you do purple? What yeah. colors do you do? So the first time I actually had a video call with you, it was blonde. Then the next time it was pink. It okay. Was black. Um, I've had What's your real color? Is your real color like mine? It is. Uh, yeah, like black kind of, kind of, kind of like yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I only ask because you know I you you've seen me on the channel. Sometimes it's really gray. Sometimes it's kind of gray. Sometimes it's really dark. Sometimes it's not so dark. You know, it's all changing. <laughs> so you know, because I'm not as diligent as you are. So I always wonder about the color colors. I do have friends. And I don't think it's sort of an age thing, but I have friends who are not your age, but are more close to my age, who have pink stripes and some purple and they play and it's fun, right? Oh, absolutely. I actually, my grandma who is 78 said that she would let me color her hair any color I wanted, so. You should do that. That'd be fun for her yeah. and for you. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this decanter, sweetheart. So my mom got this from a thrift store that she used to work at. Mm. Um, they gave it to her, so she didn't pay anything. It nice. did come with two, uh, actually three glasses. One of them did end up breaking. Um, okay. So it had four with the decanter. Yes. Uh -huh. um, about with the stopper, it's about 16 and a half inches tall. Okay. Can you, can you take the stopper off and put it on a table so we don't break it? <laughs> take your time. And then can you get the bottom, you know, the body of it a little closer to the camera? Because I want to see what the gilding parts is. Oh, they're leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then it has a little bit of etch work and then you've got the gilding. I like decanters. I like barware. I tell you all the time, barware is hot. It's been hot for a long time. It's going to remain hot. People are liking this vintage barware. That's mid-century modern. Uh, you know, oh. that's a nice piece. American made, I would say value. Oh, so you got it for free. You told me from the thrift yeah. store that she works at value on that piece, just about $150. 
Oh, nice. My mother Very will. nice. Very nice. <laughs> now, that doesn't count the glasses. So right. I want you to think about maybe between eight and nine dollars per glass because you only have three. Okay. okay. That if you had a whole set, which would be six, not four, yes. with a decanter, there's always six glasses, right? Because okay. the idea is you're having a little party. Think of a poker game. You know, you're having the decanter and a little bit of poker game, six people. I would say they'd be worth more if you had the set, right? Right. And the decanter would be too. So try to keep sets intact, but that's a nice one. Hey, what's your thought? Sushi, yummy or yucky? So uh, I've tried it a million times. I don't like it. I love cooked fish, but not raw. <laughs> okay, okay, cooked fish. Well, any kind of fish you're going to get, you know, those omegas that you need, the omega-3s, those, those, of course, important fatty acids, and that's what we want to eat. We're going to eat some fish, but I like sushi. I do, but I'm not too adventurous either. I only have a couple things that I have, and that's yeah. that. <laughs> it's a weird nice texture, to too, for me, so. Yeah. Well, you know, there's always rice, and that's always good. Nice to see you. you too. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for the, the, the hair dyeing tip, too. We, we need all those tips. So, Oh, gosh. Don't forget about the binge link. Speaking of tips, here's a tip for you. At drlaurieview.com, go to my specials and shop page and scroll down the page. There's all kinds of information on that page. That's a serious page. The binge link is there, too. What does the binge link do? Well, it allows you to use that one link, and it will play all of my videos in succession so you can see them from the most recent all the way back, right? And there's a way, long way to go. So I want you to binge. Here's why. There's so much information chock full in each one of those videos. I want you to learn as much of it as you can. So the binge link will make it easy for you. So you're not hunting around. You want to treasure hunt in the thrift store. You, wanna, you don't want to have to treasure hunt here. I want you to make it easy for you so you can, of course, watch the videos and make it easy. So Dr. Lori's here. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Why are you moving? The person with the blue glasses on the moon. I'm going into the light. I'm sorry. I was sitting oh, in the dark. There you go. Better. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, that's much better. What's your name, hon? My name's Carmen. I have my boyfriend Dave helping me again. I've talked Where's to you a few Dave? times. Dave? Is Dave the one with the robe? Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Dave, what's happening? What's going on? <laughs> Nothing's going on. Are you making dinner? What are you doing? Oh, uh, we already ate dinner. I'm oh, helping her you, again. Yes, I have. Yummy, yummy. Bad Chinese food. Oh, nice. Not bad. Yep, you're in the football game. Oh, the football game's on. All right. Let me oh, see. Yeah. What, let me see. Back up a little bit for me, Carmen. There you go. Oh, this is nice. Bud Vase, 1960s. How did you acquire it into the 70s? How'd you get it? I actually, I believe I bought it 20 years ago at the dollar store. Wow. All right. Okay. So 20 years ago and you got it for a dollar. That's pretty nice. I would say today it's probably worth 25 bucks. So that's a buck a year or a buck and a half a year, right? A buck 10 a year. So you got to wait 20 years. You didn't make a whole lot on it because you had to wait all those years. But blue glass even today is popular. It's always popular. It's a very nice typical example, typical style. You know, that form is very typical. Yeah. Control bubbles are good. I like that. I like the hob nail. That's those little prunts, those little nail, those little elements all the way around the bottom. You see that? The texture part called the hob nail. I like that too. That's good. Does Dave like it? I love it. All right, Dave. All right. So speaking of things that you love, tell me, um, sushi, yummy or yucky? Yucky. Yucky for both of us. You don't like sushi. All right. Well, stick to, the Chinese, stick to the Chinese food and make sure he cooks for you once in a while. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Dr. Nice Lori. Nice to see you. Bye, honey. He's funny. Last time I was on, he had a robe on. He's a good guy. Anyway, I'm glad you guys are enjoying all the information. And again, remember what to look for. When it comes to blue glass, I want you to look for color because people like blue glass particularly. They like all colored glass, but blue glass, cobalt, that wasn't cobalt. Cobalt glass, teal glass um, is very, very popular. A lot of people like it. And the form is important. That's a bud vase. You're not putting a whole bouquet in that vase. You're putting one little bud. You know, you went to the prom and you had one rose and that kind of thing. That's what those vases are for. But the hobnails on it, that texture at the bottom is what a lot of people look for. And a lot of collectors of glass like a base, like a foot. If you notice that piece, it had, of course, a base, a foot. They like that because it's a contrast of the forms. So you've got the foot, and then it gets bigger, and then it gets thin. People like that contrast, you know, the difference between skinny and bigger. 
And I think that's a nice form too, but that's a very typical and characteristic vase form. So look for it. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Let's see what we've got. So speaking of glass, what's this piece of glass? Oh. Hi, oh, what's your hi. name? Where are you from? Hi, Georgia. Uh, you and I, we did a video call not too long ago. So this oh, looks like a pelican. Ago. This looks like a pelican, doesn't it? It is with the little fish in his mouth. Okay, can you, oh, look at the fish. Can everybody see the fish? See that red fish in his mouth? That's a real, that's a nicely done piece. So that right there is where you see quality. When they go the extra mile, you know, when they go the extra mile. Can you back up so we can see the whole object? There we go. Yeah. So you can see the base. It's sitting there on a foot. And then you can see the fact that the the blown, the blown glass artisan who's do, using blown glass as their medium is able to do things like that element on the head and like, of course, showing you that you've got the, the uh, fish in the, in the mouth, basically, of that pelican. That's really nice. That's quality. They go the extra mile. They're thinking ahead as they're doing the work. And these are people who, of course, have made a lot of beautiful pieces over, the, over time, too. How'd you acquire it? Estate sale. How much? 15. Very good. Very it was good. So cute. I had to have it. Totally cute. Eight inches? Um, I would say eight inches. Mm, yeah, a little blue base. Can you see the blue hue on the base? I do see the blue on the vase. Is it marked at all or is there a sticker on no, it? There's a, a sticker that was on there, but it's not on there now. So the adhesive is gone. Yeah, oh, the and then there's is like a little hole gone. back here. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, there's a hole. Is that what yeah, you said? Well, it looks like I just noticed that it's like filled with some white stuff. It looks yeah. Like. So typically what, what's happening there, oftentimes they're on an actual base as opposed to just being on that particular foot that it has. Sometimes there's a base on, on the bottom too. Of course, it's in the great Venetian glass style. And the Venetian glass style of the great glass blowers, that's a very nice piece. I think that piece is probably a studio piece made probably in Florida by an American artisan. I don't think it's Italian. I do think it's in the style of the Venetians, which goes all the way back. But that little fish is really what takes it from being, yeah, your run-of-the-mill $40 piece to your not-so-run-of-the-mill $125 piece. So very, very nice. And those are the details I want you to look for. Beautiful, wonderful. So tell me. The value? 125. Oh, That's okay, the thank you. 125 versus the $40 piece. If and I did have, find him in Florida. I'm sorry? I did find him in Florida. You did find him in Florida. Yeah. I think he was native to Florida. I think he was born <laughs> of a studio <laughs> in Florida. And yeah. my question of the day, sushi, yummy or yucky since we're talking about fish? It's yucky. It's yucky. Okay, okay. Nice to see you. Thanks so much. And thanks for doing the video calls. Was it helpful to you, the video call? Oh, absolutely. I want to book another one with you. Did you do a long one? We did paintings and I'm going to do jewelry next time. Okay, so you did it by category and you did uh, more than a few minutes. You decided to, to do yeah, a whole 30, 30 minutes. Great, great, great. And then I want to do jewelry, 30 minute jewelry. All right. Well, you know where to go. And don't forget again about gift certificates too. And don't forget to sign up to my newsletter because the newsletter is going to tell you all of this information. Where do you do that? DrLaurieV.com. It's easy. Go to the website. You'll see the thumbs up, the free icon at the website. And you can, of course, go right there. You see the free icon right there at the bottom. Just go there, click on it, Give me your email address and we'll send the newsletter to you. You don't have to do anything. Just wait for it to show up in your inbox. So that's really great. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. One, some more guests. Let's see what they've got. There you go. Okay. Let's see what this sculpture is. It looks like it's a gold tone, probably cast metal sculpture with some gold on top of it. What's your name? Hi, Dr. Laurie. It's Ashley Hi. from Miami. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm fine. What have you got? Can you back up so um, we can see the whole piece, hon? So I got this Napoleon Bonata Bonaparte on a camel. It's a bronze uh, sculpture. Okay. Can I see the underside? Underside. Yes. Is there a mannequin behind you or is there a person yeah, behind you? It's a mannequin. It's a storage of fashion. I like sketches on him and stuff like that. 
Oh, okay. I see. I got a little scared. I thought somebody was going to hurt you back there. He looked like a serial killer. All right. Good. Good. Okay. So you've got this piece. Show me the underside. I want to see if this really is bronze. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you've got a good piece of cast metal and then it has been actually, um, it's been gilded on top, all gold. Can I see that? And then you said there's a name on it, right? Uh, yes. Um, a Jock Mark. Who is this person uh, whose uh, hand is in the way? Who is this person who keeps doing, who is that? <laughs> oh, it's my dad. <laughs> Hello, dad. Oh my gosh. He's like in there. Like it's right here. All right. <laughs> yeah. He went to grab something. So That's I have, fine. Uh, the artist is A. Jock Mart, and the bronzing company is Bar Barbadin uh, Von Deer. Barbadin okay. Von Deer, yes. How did you acquire it in the thrift store? Yes, um, at the Goodwill and the back bin. It came out last minute, and it just was there, and nobody wanted it, and we just um, grabbed it. <laughs> how much did you pay? About $15. $15. 15 yes. one five? Yes. $15. $15. Yes. How tall is it? Um, it's eight inches on the base and a little over 10 inches and a quarter from top it, to, oh, sorry, I'm facing it the wrong way. You're all right. So it's about, about 10 inches tall? Yes. 10 inches tall. It, re it references, of course, Napoleon and, of course, you know, where he was just basically taking over, right, right. Uh, throughout much of his, much, of course, of his wars before he, he decides to create, to make himself emperor, as you well know, and before he's exiled. So early part of the 1800s is, of course, this time period in history when you're going to see Napoleon Bonaparte. That piece of sculpture right there is a beautiful example, cast bronze sculpture, all, of course, gilded value on it, $1,750 for your $1,500 investment. Always look for art. Beautiful. Oh, my God, that's amazing. I'm actually half French. I'm Peruvian French. So Terrific. Yes. Terrific. <laughs> so it relates to your own, so it relates to your own history, too. Yes, it would my be dad's good French. Yes, my dad's half French and American and my mom's Peruvian. Okay, and I would say it's going to increase in value as time goes on. So you're a young person. You might want to hold on to it for a while. Yay. Yay. That's Congratulations. Amazing. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. My Dora. pleasure, so my pleasure. You. So now answer this question for me, Ashley. Sushi, yummy or yucky? And ask your dad to answer it too. Yucky. <laughs> yucky. What about your dad? How about you? Uh, yucky. 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 Okay. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Wow, that's a good one. When you're looking for sculpture, I want you to look for cast bronze if you can find it, right? Identifying it from the bottom. It has a particular color. And then it can be actually gilded like that piece was, right? Patinated too. Doesn't necessarily have to be golden color. It could also be a nice red color, a nice green color, maybe even a brown color. They will patinate, of course, many different colors when you're looking at sculpture. I like the size of it. And the more realistic the figures, the better. Historical figures are always interesting in the market. The market likes historical figures. So Napoleon is one of those. We've got guests galore. Lots of folks who want to show me their stuff. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Oh. Let's see. What have we got there? I want to see what this unusual um, object is. It looks like it's a ceramic piece. It almost looks like a pie plate. And then it looks like it might hold, of course, um, candles. What have we got? Hi there, Dr. Lori. It's uh, Jessica from Virginia Beach. Sorry, I can't switch the, um, I do have it horizontal, but I can't switch it around. Okay, can you put your face there so we can see your face for just a minute? Yes. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good, how are you? Good. Well, what have you got there? Okay, so it's, uh, like you said, it does look like a uh, pie plate, but it holds uh, candlesticks. Yeah. And I did a Google lens search on it. Yeah. And um, I I'm was seeing McCarthy. Here's why I'm not impressed by those. The thing about the Google lens searches is, is a lot of the times they get it wrong. <laughs> like, well, you, yeah. might, you might do this and then you might, not, not all, I'm not saying that they're bad or anything. I'm just saying a lot of times it's not right. So they take you down a road and you might have a problem with respect to the, um, with respect to the research. So sometimes they get you down a road that you don't need to go down. So yeah. when you looked at it, did you, did you look at it and say, I like it because it has this familiar pie shape or? Uh, I, I bought it cause I like candles and I thought it was oh. weird, but, um, what I was going to say about the Google lens search, it came up with, um, 
McCarty pottery. So I went to research that, yeah. but it seems like all their pieces are signed with two different signatures. And unfortunately, if you look at the back, there's no signature. So it's not. I think, yeah. I think this is a studio potter. I think this is a studio potter. I don't think it's one of the big manufacturers. I think it is done, of course, in a studio factory. It's nice. I think it would look very beautiful with the candles in it. I think the tapers in it probably look quite beautiful. And I would say that I like the material. I like the textural na nature of the material. So I think that's really quite fine. How much did you pay for it? Uh, $4.25 at Goodwill. Four dollars and twenty-five cents. Yep. Okay. I would say value on oh time period for it probably dates to the eighties or nineteen eighties or nineteen nineties. And I would say time period time period is the late twentieth century. Value on it just about fifty-five dollars. But I think okay. it's going to look beautiful. Um, if you like candles and you light candles, I think that's a nice one based on actual sales records. Why? Well, you have a lot of of course. Um, good materials, high quality when you're dealing with, of course, studio art potters. And that's what you have here. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and I like this question too. Sushi, yummy or yucky? I like the question too. I absolutely love sushi. And it's funny because I got some wasabi powder right here. So wasabi powder to boot. Well, yeah, I couldn't have planned that any better. Nice to see yeah. you. <laughs> It's nice to see you from Virginia Beach. Enjoy that. Light some candles there. Don't forget to look for texture and don't forget to, sure, signatures are nice, but you're not always going to get signatures. That's why I want you to look for quality and that's what I'm going to teach you. That's great. I'm Dr. Lori. See you next time.